It's the weekly church news. On Thanksgiving Day, November 15th, we will conduct the online Holy Communion during the evening service. If you worship online at home, offer the Holy Communion under the guidance of the presider. Please prepare bread and wine in advance. Prepare bread the size of 1.5 cm in width, length, and height, and prepare wine with 100% grape juice. Glasses for wine are distributed through the, each parish leader, so, and please keep them caref carefully after use. May you have a blessed Holy Communion remembering the Lord's sacrifice, His love, and the grace of salvation this upcoming Lord's Day. Hallelujah. Loving members, I am Sung In Lee, missionary to Toronto, Canada. Even in the coronavirus situation, the members in Canada overflow with blessings and testimonies. Today, I'll introduce them to you. It is difficult to gather and worship together due to the coronavirus, but we, Toronto and Calgary members, are wisely overcoming the pandemic situation by prayer filled with the Holy Spirit and in our own ways. The reason we have been able to help and strengthen each other in faith is that we have the gospel of holiness we've learned from senior pastor. After the church's 38th anniversary, on October 24th, I headed to Calgary to meet the MAMI members there. The weather in Calgary, where half of the year is winter, was cold with temperatures below zero. But on Sunday, when our members gathered, we were able to offer a blessed worship service in a very clear and warm weather. My main mission field being Toronto, I cannot meet them often, but we gather in the name of Ma Min and we were filled with the Spirit as we shared grace like one family. Among them, Kyle and his wife shared their testimony that they were kept safe from coronavirus. Hello, I'm Kyle, and this is my wife, Yeonju Song. A plea from the Prime Minister. All Canadians, as much as possible, should stay home. But through this, the COVID, COVID lockdowns brought us a happy time for us to spend more time as newlyweds. Around June this year, there was one confirmed case in my apartment building. After that, Notices such as wear a mask and do not share the elevator were posted all over the apartment. However, the number of confirmed cases continue to increase, resulting in over 60 confirmed cases in this apartment alone. Even in that situation, we were protected. Not only were, were we not infected with the coronavirus, but there were no problems with this situation. Neither me nor my, nor my wife were fired from work, and there were many changes as I began working from home, but I liked working from home. It felt like this was a blessing. I think we were able to spend this time well because we prepare our house as if it were a sanctuary whenever we worshipped. We clean the house and organize things to focus on worship like having a worship in a sanctuary. We, when we offer the on-site service in Calgary Mami Church, the members cleaned up the sanctuary every Sunday. Now we are doing the same at home. God protected us from the coronavirus, so neither of us has any health issues, but rather we are being blessed by God. Father, Lord Shepherd, thank you, love you, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm currently waiting at the Calgary airport before boarding a flight back to Toronto. Personally, through this time, I was able to feel how ardently our loving shepherd prayed to Father God with tears and interceded for our members. 
I was really happy. On my flight back to Toronto after a short meeting with the members in Calgary, Father Guy showed a clear rainbow, a circular rainbow. I was more grateful for the love of Father Guy who's always with us. Here in Toronto, the maple leaves in fall are so beautiful. The testimonies shared by the members of Toronto Mami Church must be also beautiful and lovely before Father God. Now, shall we meet them? Please introduce yourself. I am Senior Deaconess Myung Ja So from Toronto Mami Church. It's been 43 years since I immigrated to Canada. I ran a kimchi factory, and before the kimchi factory, I was a nurse. And before that, I was a cook, a Western cuisine. After I started a kimchi factory in Toronto, I supplied kimchi to 23 branches of TNT, uh, which is a Chinese market. At the time, my hand was injured and I couldn't use it for about a year. I got medical treatments and tried acupuncture, but they didn't work. One day, I watched CNN news where senior pastor appeared. Uh, through, uh, through my acquaintance in Korea, I found out that he was a pastor of Mamin Church in Korea, and I sent an email to the church. On Friday, when senior pastor prayed for the sick, he specifically called my name and prayed for the healing of my hand. At that moment, I felt fire coming into my hand, and I, and I was healed immediately. That's how. That's how I came to believe in the power of the senior pastor of Mamin Church. Before I joined Mamin, I was very arrogant. I was really arrogant as if there was no better person than me. But hearing senior pastor's messages, I realized that I had a lot of problems. I repented a lot while listening to the messages, spirit, soul, and body, measures of faith, and lectures on Genesis, and I changed a lot. I was born a Christian. My father achieved dedication of a sanctuary three times. So, offering tithes and keeping the Lord's Day holy was His last will for us. So, church life was very natural for, uh, for my family. But after I came over to Canada, I lost much of it. And Senior Pastor's message reminded me of the words I heard back in my childhood. It provided, it provided an opportunity for me to change again. Senior Dickinis So, who's been leading her Christian life with a new mindset, recently had a huge experience. Last year, I opened up a small restaurant. As the capital was used for rent, rental, rental fees, it was more difficult to run it than I had thought. I had a hard time for about a year. I would cry when I attended the Daniel prayer meeting. One day, one of my acquaintances said that he would stop running his store and wanted me to take over because the location was very good. I wanted to take over. But to buy that store, his store, that convenience store, I needed $40,000. So I said I would take it at the end of January, but I couldn't, and the deal was over. Then I told Missionary Lee to come over for a worship service because I wanted to offer a service before closing down my restaurant. However, after offering the service, something really amazing happened. Due to the pandemic in early March, a new policy was announced in mid-March. 
as restaurant owners had to close up their business, the government offered to provide support up to $40,000 for those restaurants uh, that opened up before March. I think I was the first one to apply. I called the person who offered to let me take over. He said that the store had to be handed over by the end of April. So I asked him to wait a little until the end of April. And in the evening of the very day, I promised to give him the answer. The $40,000 I applied came into my bank account. It was just three days after I applied. I first offered the tithe of I offered the tithe with and I got ready to move in here. I decided to use one third of the space as a takeout restaurant and the rest as a convenience store. Then I told my former restaurant building owner that I had to move out. He allowed me to move out quickly. If the owner had not permitted it, I would have to pay him rental fee for five years. I cried because I was so grateful to Father God. So I opened up this store on June 1st, running a takeout restaurant and a convenience store. I'm so happy. The reason that I could all, the reason is that I can help someone. Although my situation isn't so good, but I try to give charity offerings because I know this is to pay back the grace that I had received. Thankful for senior pastor's charity work, I try to give charity offerings, the amount as much as a church worker's monthly salary. And I'm so grateful for the fact that God never gives up on me. I am living a joyful life, having a hope that I will commit myself to prayer and volunteer works alongside Missionary Lee. Thank you. The next person we'll meet is Sung Ye Lee. Would you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Dickin Sung Ye Lee from Toronto Mammin Church. I met Mammin in the fall of 2012. Uh, I was then a member of another church. When I was praying for my kids, I heard a voice saying, You should pray for the health of your spirit, soul, and body. So I started reading the Bible, New Testament. I read the Bible, highlighting the words like spirit and soul, but I didn't really know what they really meant. And I googled spiritual realm and found the blog. There were several lectures about spiritual realm, spaces and dimensions, and heaven and hell. I was deeply moved by the lectures on the spiritual realm, and I read all the messages on spaces and dimensions and heaven and hell. So I began wondering who wrote such messages. There was information about the preacher, the author, Pastor J. Ruffley, on top of the page. I searched the web and found out about m a m i n Central Church and Pastor J. Ruffley. After that, I read the lectures on Genesis. I registered as a member of m a m i n Central Church in January 2013 online and joined Toronto m a m i n Church in September 2014. Since then, her Christian life has been full of happiness. Are there changes in your life after you joined m a m i n There are many. The most significant change is that I develop hope for heaven. Previously, I knew about heaven only vaguely, not clearly, but I learned that heaven exists and it is our destination through the shepherd. I feel so thankful for that. Secondly, it's the holiness gospel. I hadn't heard 
I hadn't heard of such precious messages before. I thought only works of flesh were sins, but the things of the flesh were not sins. But I learned that the things of flesh are also sins through the precious holiness gospel, and I'm doing my best to throw away even the things of the flesh with prayer. The third change is to understand the good will of God who wants to gain true children through human cultivation. So the meaning and the purpose of my life have changed. I will surely change into a person of spirit and whole spirit to become His true child and fulfill the good will of the Father through she confesses that her Christian life has been so joyful and she experiences the love of the Father who pours out greater grace as she is changed. It was around uh, last fall, I couldn't kneel down to pray because my knees began to hurt all of a sudden. I developed degenerative arthritis. When I prayed, I had to straighten my left leg, unable to kneel down. As we've learned, I look back on my, I look back on myself first and repented of not having prayed with all my heart. I discovered things to repent, repented of them, and received a shepherd's prayer for the sick. During the divine healing meeting, I received the prayer with all my heart. Since then, the knee pain has disappeared, healed of degenerative arthritis. I'm enjoying a healthy life. Next is Deacon Yeonsu Liu. I'm Deacon Yeonsu Liu from Toronto Mammin Church. I had a serious accident where my head was broken on May 17, 2013. I don't remember how I fell. I underwent major surgery. But I was completely healed by the shepherd's prayer. Without any after effects, I became healthier. After the accident, I was blessed to attend the summer retreat and meet the shepherd. It was a blessing to me, and this is the biggest testimony. I got well, and I was able to work harder, and my family lives in peace. And I got greater hope for heaven. What does the shepherd mean to you? The shepherd is the one whom the, whom the Lord sent to us because He loves us. If I don't trust Him and love Him, who would I trust and love? I hope that all m a m i members will be on alert, stay faithful, and keep their trust so that we can all enter the beautiful dwelling place in heaven which the Lord made for us. Thank you. Uh, we participate in online services, but we should worship God in spirit and truth as if we were w o r s h i p i n the sanctuary. There are Wednesday service, Friday online service, and Sunday morning and evening service. If, we all, if only we faithfully attend these four worship services, we do not lose our spiritual fullness, I think. I hope that all m a m i members worship God with an earnest heart. Where can we hear such a precious message? I hope all of us keep in mind that each worship service is very important and worship God in spirit and in truth. There's nothing but prayer. I start each day with prayer, memorizing a Bible verse and reading a one chapter of the Bible as the shepherd has urged us to do.
I, Toronto Mammy Church members keep their strong trust in God and the senior pastor, even in trial of blessings, and make efforts to live a good life according to the holiness gospel given by God. They are not great in number, but each of them is growing as a spiritual warrior, so I am deeply moved by them. After I was commissioned to Canada as a missionary, I developed a strong resolve to become a missionary who covers the whole North America. With such resolve, Toronto Mami Church members and I are praying that our church can cover the whole North America. Beloved members, how did you like the testimonies of the Calgary and Toronto Mami Church members? The way how each of us met Ma Min is different, but we met Ma Min by God's guidance. We've overcome the world with the power of God manifested by senior pastor and with the love of the Lord. Father God, Lord and Shepherd, thank you. Love you. Hallelujah. We thank Father God, the Lord and the Shepherd for being with Ma Min. Shepherd, love you. Mommy members, love you. この